Uh, hey guys. Uh, I killed Adam. He's dead. I ate him. He's delicious. Uh, and I brought Red in. Because I'm better. Because the uh, option was having no podcast or having a podcast with a shitty sidekick. So you admit that just you sitting by yourself isn't worth watching. Oh, definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. See, you're way too loud. That's a fact. Um, hi, so I don't... What, do you want to introduce yourself? I don't care. No. I'm that's, pretty lazy. What would I possibly say? I'm Red Scott. I'm some other guy you haven't heard of right until this moment. And it would be against the podcast to actually have any sort of introduction. Right. Other than like, here's a dude we know. <laughs> Uh, another comedian another you comedian that you will probably never hear of although you're actually in sketchfest i am in sketchfest and i'm which not. by the way if anybody listening to this has a time machine uh you can go back probably five or six days this will be on monday so monday? Uh, okay you can go so, so you don't days. you don't need that good of a time machine it only needs to go back two days uh and then you can see me tonight uh at san francisco sketchfest the uh yeah but which which venue Oh, because it's important that the time machine. Uh, yeah, yeah, they either yeah. need a time machine and a teleporter, right. or it's it's the at the historic Purple Onion. The historic now see in San Francisco. For those who don't know, the Purple Onion has been around since what the fifties and sixties, at least. Uh, the Smothers Brothers played there. Yeah, uh, Robin Williams was there. Robin Zach Williams, I mean, everyone in their mother, Green, back in the fifties, has played there. But uh, really, it's not that nice of a venue. It's very dingy. And the the there's nowhere so if the room sold out there's nowhere for the comedians to stand. Uh, the and this is not an upright, upstanding. I'm gonna adjust my volume quick. Okay, go keep for that. talking. That is not the the purple line is not an upright, outstanding, ethical. Like I was in a show there the other night that sold out, and they had people sold out s- sitting on the steps of the exit. Well, and I heard they were sitting by the steps by the bathroom. Oh, I didn't hear that, really? So, yeah, Adam said That's that the worse. other day. So there are two exits to this place. One of them is a fire exit that is chain shut. Yeah. Uh, the other one is the main exit, which had human bodies sitting on it. Yeah. Uh, so and, and the fire exit is right by the toilets. The fire exit is right by which the Which requires stairs to get into. Yeah. These, yeah. A it, stairs that one of the other comedians broke her leg sort of trying to get up yeah, recently. It, or or it, it's, like, it's like all the stairs in Italy, you know, where it's, it's like super narrow... And then they just go straight up. It's like, we don't want to make that many steps, so we're not going to make low down steps. We're going to make narrow. And they brought that into a modern building uh, restroom, which is great because yeah. people don't want to go two directions on that. Well, and when you're drunk, the best thing to face is five very narrow, sketchy steps. Right, exactly, which you literally climb like a ladder to get into that. <laughs> it is not pleasant at it all. Is. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think I've really sold my show two days ago. I think yeah, a lot of I people think gonna uh, it's going to be sold out. And excuse me yeah. while I'm reading email. I'm trying to find the email that I just lost. Well, while, while Jeff has nothing, I just want to say, if this first two minutes of hilarious material uh, has convinced you that I'm fantastic, I'm going to be at Rooster Tea Feathers at the end of February. Now, see, here, here's another thing with Rooster Tea Feathers. This shithead used to live in the South Bay. Mm-hmm. Rooster Tea Feathers is what? 30 miles for for yeah 35 35, from san francisco but it's like an hour drive and if you go during rush hour it's like an hour it could be three hours oh well more often an hour and a half to two hours yeah 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 Yeah. so for me to get down during the week the rooster tea feather showcase is on wednesdays at 8 7 30 yeah eight but you have to be there by 7 30 right uh uh i just didn't bother and i got an audition once she didn't she gave me some feedback which was let's just say questionably useful to be nice right and i'm like fuck this i don't need to do this anymore where red got the advantage of being able to go every week if he wanted to yeah because he works right near there Mm -hmm. and he lived down there there's nothing like that in san francisco i just found it was a lot easier to just win the competition though than actually well it's easy to stack the competition when you have your entire family you can bring Oh yeah, no, I'm not saying I won that because I was good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go on the record and saying he didn't win that because he was good. <laughs> no, Dave Thomason came in second, and that is a Dave Thomason should have won. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I tell him that all the time, and he thinks, I think, I think he just doesn't believe me. Well, Dave Thomason is fucking outstanding. If if there's a comic in San Francisco, I would have no problem saying you got to see. 
Yeah. It would be Dave, and it's partially because he's such a nice guy too. A lot yeah. of the comics are kind of oh yeah, he's, full he's of themselves. Super we were outside at Casting Nola's uh, last night, flyering uh, because I hate myself, and uh, I was there. It was I needed something more to say than hey, come and see this show of local comedians. And were you doing the TV thing or the uh, Incredible? I uh, was not. Okay, uh, finish your story. I'll tell yeah. you my Dave Thomas oh, okay, and okay. Casting Nola story. And, and so we we're outside, and I, I just I was flyering with Dave. And as people are walking by, I decided I was going to announce his name. Like, I was like, tonight at Casanova, come see Dave Thomason. Was Dave he Thomas- really embarrassed? And, and I was, well, it's not like he was wearing a name tag, so he just didn't. We didn't have his face on a fire or anything. I was like, Dave Thomason. And I was like, is that Dave Thomason funny? Yeah, dude. He's uh, Seriously, honestly, I can tell you, he's fucking hilarious. And then uh, it was great when we'd get somebody in there and they saw Dave Thomason later. And were disappointed, but then realized I was right. So, uh... Yeah, because he was standing right there. So Castagnola is, uh, is on the wharf, and they get all their – or the people are tourists or people walk by. Right. Just so you know. It's all these people that aren't necessarily there to see a comedy show. No. In fact, I would say uh, none of them are there to see a comedy Usually show. Usually there's like uh, – if they get 40 people, 10 of them will have premeditated, decided to go to the show. The other <sighs> 30 came in off the street. Okay. You think that's being generous? No, it sounds about right. Okay. So, anyway, this one time Brian on the web put the amazing Dave Thomason. Brian, who runs the show? Brian, who runs the show. So, I'm standing on the street next to Dave, and as people were walking by, come see the amazing Dave Thomason. And he was getting so embarrassed. (laughs) He's like, will you stop that? And I'm like, fine. Come see the incredible Dave Thomason. <laughs> did you get? Did anybody uh, recognize the name potentially? Because that happened once in a very no, 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 no. no so it happens. Uh, it happened twice. It's very, Come see Dave Thomason, and so we'd be like the Wendy's guy. Oh, that I, <laughs> I use that joke a couple times. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, the, I would say the amazing Dave Thomason. No, not the guy from Wendy's, the comedian. Yeah, there's a. But he's dead. No, Dave Thomason. The Wendy's guy. Good. Oh yeah. Well, I. I, anyway. He wasn't a real person anyway. But no, I is, yeah. <laughs> enough on enough on Dave Thomason. Why? That and, was that was fucking funny. That's uh, probably the funniest thing you you well, certainly better than what you're going to say tonight on stage. Oh, yeah, no, it's not going to be good. There's Are uh, you hosting? Are oh, you no. Performing? Dear God, but I am going up first. Alex Cole's hosting and then I have to follow him, so that should be fun. <laughs> yeah, that should Wizard That's either going to go really well or So Alex Cole's an awesome comic. Yeah. I love him. You can actually Google that name. Uh, yeah, and, and find, find stuff. Television stuff yeah. with him. He's fantastic. But uh he's like Weinbach, where like if the audience and isn't on no, board, oh yeah. You're done. Yeah, there's ju- there's just certain comics where it's like, "Oh, I'm in the wrong theater." Yeah, like <laughs> I came to see comedy, not and, uh, performance art. Right, exactly. But I, guess, I mean, they're funny. You yeah. just have to kind of. Oh yeah, Alex Cole and Brent Weinbach, they're both phenomenal. Uh, you got you got to give in. Oh yeah, Definitely. and just go, ride along. Like Weinbach, I know I've talked about this one time. Went and did. Were you there at that punchline where he did the Indian dude? Yes, yeah. I was there for that. That was fantastic. <laughs> he goes up dressed like he came off the boat from India, and he's darker skinned. You can right, believe right. he would be a lighter skinned he's, Indian he's man. He's half Filipino, so he's got you know, yeah, he, like, some uh, generic ethnicity in there. And he's just sitting there going, so today I got in the cabin. It cost $5. $5! <laughs> <laughs> and that's his whole act. Right. He would tell these little snippets yeah. of a story and then just yell. Some the subject. small amount, yeah, yeah, exactly, and uh, and the audience. It was, it was one of those things. If you go to a punchline showcase, what happens is there's the normal paying audience who just came to see a comedy show, but in the back and possibly an equal or greater number Our are comedians, comedians yeah. sitting in the back row who had hoped to go up that night, and uh, that was one of those things where the audience had no idea. There were definitely what was going pockets on. of laughter. They were so confused but as the, to what was happening. And then the back of the comics are dying, dying. So there's just like a wave of sound that's probably a second a ha- second and a half from when they laughed when Brett Weinbach hears it. Uh, and it and it was just phenomenal how much the comics loved it and how much the audience had. But no that's idea also what was going fair. On. Like, so there's there's two kinds of comedian laughter when that happens when the audience isn't laughing. The yeah. one is like. Really, you have to be into comedy to appreciate this right. or know the guy or know the guy. That's important. Yeah. Or two, the guy's doing so bad. Yeah. That all the other comedians are finding it hysterical. Yeah. So that's and, 
the cruelest thing is like comedians. <laughs> there's a, from a lot of comedians, and I am not one of them, but one of their favorite things in the world is watching a people bomb. bombing. Yeah. Especially, especially if they've seen that same comedian do that same material somewhere else and just level with Kill, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then walk into the room and just be like, ah, oh, nobody's. See, I nobody's. won't laugh at people bombing, but I will laugh at people's reactions when they're bombing. And I've I've watched you at the punchline. Yeah. And I've seen you get you get Less in this than like. Optimal. Well, I've had it too, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, you get this look on your face that is classic <laughs> when you know a joke like, didn't land the way it should have, yeah. and you're trying to collect yourself and be like, <laughs> okay, this is all going to be all right. right. I'm just going to deliver the next joke, and we'll be fine. And then when that doesn't work, it gets a little longer <laughs> in between. <laughs> and see, I'm laughing at that oh, because fantastic. I know exactly the thoughts going through your head. Right. <laughs> yeah. There. I, I told the uh, that one of my favorite uh, uh, yeah, moments. A little closer. Hmm? Yeah. One of my favorite moments uh, doing stand up where a joke didn't work was I had a joke where the punchline uh, was blind leading the blind. I was made, referring yeah, to Yeah, I know that joke. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't done it in forever. But uh, I told it once, and it normally gets a reaction. Like it's a pause, people process it, get a reaction. Uh, I told it in front of a crowd who I was doing very well in front of. Uh, and then I told that joke, got all the way through it, punchline, silence. And it was just one of those, like, I've had that joke not work, and I've had bad sets, but I've never had that joke not work while having a good set. I've, and, I've and thought went, of a riff for that now. I went back and listened to the tape, Yeah. and uh, I, I just mumble, I speak strangely, I'd said the blonde leading the blonde. Ah, uh. And, uh, but see, you don't hear that when you're on stage. No, no, no. You're no. so used to saying Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You hear the joke you intended. Yeah. And then listening to the tape, I was like, I wouldn't have laughed at that either. Yeah. That is some weird that shit. That makes no sense. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so reaction when a joke doesn't work. I'm going to try this next time it happens. Not that it hasn't happened, but when I'm doing well and that situation happens right. where one joke just misses, be like, look, this joke kills all the time. And I don't want to put it on the audience and I don't want to put it on me. So I'm going to have to blame the microphone yeah. on this one. <laughs> like, shame on you. <laughs> next, You should take that to the next level. Like next day on Amazon, sure makes an inferior product. <laughs> Two stars. Makes jokes unfunny. <laughs> this microphone is just bad. Yes. And I'm on a show and he's on a, a knockoff. So we'll see who's funnier on this podcast. Right, exactly. I, I, have to, I have to say, by dollar value, my microphone should be half as funny. Oh, Half really? Uh, a third. So how much did yours cost? But I got mine on sale for like fifty eight dollars. Right, which is fantastic, by the yeah. way. The, Jeff has a Shure SM fifty eight, which is almost always ninety or hundred bucks. Yeah. If anybody can tell me where to get them for fifty, I'd be very happy. That isn't the back of a truck. Oh, right. actually, you'd probably be so fine I have taking it off the back of a truck. So I have this one, which is a let me read it GLS Audio ES fifty eight. And uh, you can tell the quality of the mic by yeah, uh, it's it, heavy. It's completely proportional to the number of letters on it. <laughs> mine has less. So, so this might cost thirty dollars just on Amazon, not on sale. See, and you're doing weird pickup. I'm doing weird pickup. I keep moving the microphone different distances. Just keep an eye on the thing. There we go. Am I being heard? Yeah, you're being heard, oh, okay. but you want to kind of look like mine right now. I didn't realize I was gonna have to perform at certain audio levels. I'm sorry. Go. Anyway, okay. so we were talking about mics and, and words. Yeah. Well, should we talk about video games? Is that we don't have to. We talk about whatever okay. the fuck we want. Yeah. Uh, so last podcast, I want to bring this up. Um. Someone asked if we could talk about uh, Kevin Smith, and we did. Yeah, which, and well, then, how did you not bring up that, uh, like, earlier in that same podcast, somebody wrote in, I think I'm Kevin in the future, or I think I'm uh, Adam, Adam in, in the, the future. future. Yeah. How did you not point out that Kevin is Adam in the future? It's, like, completely an exact extrapolation. Well, but, except without the money or fame. Exactly, and, right. and Adam's likely never to get it, so there's no real future. Right. So, um... No, but I wanted to point out Mark Maron's What the Fuck Pod did Kevin Smith. Right. Very and it was good. outstanding. And you yeah. should go listen to it. So it's WTFpod.com. Yeah. And uh, Kevin Smith literally on record just lights up a joint at the beginning of it. And he's like, oh, I'm smoking here. Yeah. Can and, I smoke? Yeah. And then it's like, hi, I've fucked for the rest of the podcast. And evangelizing about weed. Like a f college freshman who's. I've never seen someone promote weed. Even Adam no, doesn't yeah. promote weed like Without that. qualification. Like, I, I, I'm. If somebody asked him, do you think 13-year-olds should smoke weed? Yeah. Said, yeah. Dude. Well, wait. Make sure you get your shit together. Know right. what you're doing. But yeah. then go ahead. Then go man. ahead. Yeah, Come on. It. Yeah. I mean, don't do heroin. Oh, well, yeah. Fucking Her weed. Heroin's bad. Um, do you want to talk about what, what you got on your list? So, like, a lot of uh, people who are guests like to think, like, that we, we prep or anything. So they bring lists. Yeah. This is the third time it's happened. 
Well, I don't, I, whatever. An hour is a long time. Way more prepared than Adam and I ever are, yeah. even for Nerd Wars. Yeah. Like, we often, short of the last two, don't even know which characters we're going to debate <laughs> <laughs> until we turn the camera on. So you do, you do a lot of preparation, a lot of no. writing. Well, a lot of people, we sometimes we think about it, but uh, a lot of people like are like, whoa, this is just stupid. I'm like, it's improv. It's completely improv, yeah. and that's kind of the point. It's something we don't do very often. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. But they're fun to watch. I have probably 20 minutes of video before what you see cut in most of the videos of us just being like, so what What are we going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. So, yes, I do have a list, uh, a list of ridiculous topics. Pick one. We can talk about it. I'm going to look at Red's crotch. Now. Yeah. I say the uh, third. Uh, the third. Yeah. I, I would just like to say. If you guys can't, like, I can see on the camera angle, like, there's literally pallets of vitamin water uh, behind the camera. It is comical that you can get this much vitamin water into a household. Like, how... Vitamin water? Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's... I've never seen so much vitamin water uh, in my life. I, I mean, what can I say? There, Co- Costco. I, I was dehydrated. Maybe Costco give us $200. This is full of vitamin Costco. water. That's, uh, a, re- weirdly enough, $200 for every time we say vitamin water. Uh, but we would have to pay the rights to actually have the label vitamin water on right. here. So uh, that's well, how that works. It actually got canceled out by me having the label on the last video podcast I did. So, <laughs> yeah, well, I, we haven't gotten paid. So you're at zero. We're at zero. We're net zero. And I think we're actually net negative by about a million. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll catch it up. Vitamin water. Uh, $200 at a time. Vitamin water. <laughs> That's the new end of sentence. That, that was item number four. That was uh, item number four. But, you know, it's not my fault you can't count. You're a comic. No, you're no, no. I, I labeled it. Oh, and you And then put, there are... Ah, okay. Wagon. That's the topic. Well, I, I was going to I was gonna give you credit. You're a programmer. I figured maybe you were zero index. index. Yeah, I yeah. think either way, I'm right. Red's a pro- professional programmer. He works for a uh, large banking company. Yeah. Making kernels. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, popcorn kernels. Yeah. Which is weird. Uh, I got hired, and they're like, you're a programmer. I was like, yeah. And they said, uh, we want uh, you to shine up and polish and distribute popcorn kernels made into jewelry. And, uh, and you and you do a damn good job at it. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm betting you're paid at least $10 an hour. Yes. Yeah. Right around there, which is, which is good. It's good when you make so little that you don't have to pay taxes. That's really what yeah, I enjoy. That's what you shoot for. That Right. Uh, yeah. Because if you have to pay taxes, that's how that math works. It's extra work you, later, and you lose money. Yeah, you have less money than you would have. Yeah. So that's you're, so you're taking the McLaughlin approach, <laughs> is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm I'm adding it up. I I can't even probably tell you the last time Adam paid taxes. Yeah, well, it's not. Did Did you ever tell the story about how he like wrote the IRS? Did you hear no. about this? Oh yeah, so he had a bunch of money due, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you owe five hundred dollars or whatever it was, and he wrote them a letter like, here's fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, aren't you gonna like? You gotta like, you get in trouble for not paying. And, and it's like, no, I'll just send them that much, and they could send them after me if they want to. Yeah, which they never will, because like this guy didn't have anything to take. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna no. take his puppets. Uh, he had a 13-inch CRT television. Uh, Dude, his apartment is hysterical. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, you gonna go on, on, on zero index topic number two? Okay, zero index topic. Well, really- well, where are we starting? From, from Wacky Gamer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, number two. Uh, Monday Night Combat. I could I have just to, said that. I could, yeah, no, that would have been better. I would have done, <laughs> gone with that. But uh, Monday Night Combat, uh, which I don't know, have you discussed previously on that? Not much. I talked about briefly, but you fucking love it. I love that game more than I love many of my appendages. That game is fantastic, and it's, 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 if, if you don't know, it's sort of like Team Fortress 2 uh, combined with like tower defense and capture the flag it's 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 really fantastic and the thing that i like about it is it takes me two seconds to get online and start playing oh it's oh it's fantastic and it's such a fun game it's such a fun game it's what what drives you nuts that you like dcu it's like five minutes to get into the damn game no like i play video games like 30 minutes at a time like that yeah it's it's like if i'm wasting any game any game that has like a 15 minute trailer in the beginning, 
I haven't that played you can't that game. Skip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, I I think even one of the Mario, like one of the two D Mario games, uh, Super Paper Mario, maybe, I don't has know. like a huge fifteen to twenty minute thing at the beginning. And I love playing Mario games. I love platformers. I love stupid RPGs. And I was like, perfect. And I literally never made it through the entire. It's still sh- sitting on my shelf. It, it's 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 the most ridiculous thing. It's like I want to sit down and have fun as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't want to dick around. No, no, yeah. I don't. And I don't want your fucking Japanese cutie story either. No, it drives me nuts too with PlayStation updates. But that's a whole other thing where they take like five hours where the Xbox ones are like a minute or <laughs> less. It's just like, bloop, done. You're updated. Go. I never. Uh, anyway. I never play. So what about Monday Night Combat? Do you do you uh, the, Jones about? The, the specific, I really love it. I mean, it has so much. It's such a simple game. And I, I you have to admit, compared to something like Team Fortress 2, the art's just, the art's very cartoony. It's not as intricate as something like uh well not that tf2 is that intricate at this point but you know yeah it's just very cartoony it's very broad paint brushes yeah um but when you're playing for something that looks so simple on the surface it has so much depth like just learning all the nuances of every different class and like the upgrade system it's like the replay values it's fucking impossible wait so do you have two xboxes Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely. I just wanted. Uh, somebody's asking Xbox. I'm, ver- I was and somebody's asking Xbox versus PS3, and and I wanted to say obviously I choose the Xbox because I have two of them, <laughs> uh, mine and then Adam's. Well, no, I was wondering because you were going to give Adam one, but that yeah. would prevent you from playing Monday Night Combat if you only had one of them. <laughs> so, no, uh, yeah, the, the Adam. The thing about the Xbox, he acts like I'm. He hasn't given me any money yet. Like, it's just, I, he needs to come to my house and take my Xbox and give me some money. Like, I don't know why he thinks that somehow it's my responsibility to deliver unto him an Xbox. No, and I've given him money for the podcast. Right. No, he I've has money. go buy yeah, the Xbox. He has, he has money. He had the money one night, and I was like, no, just wait till you fucking come and get the Xbox from me, and then it won't be like, oh, you money. And yeah, yeah. just... Uh, he's the, just lazy the only reason adam doesn't have an xbox is he doesn't want an xbox like if he just showed up at my house with some money he would have an xbox well, he claims not to have time yeah fuck that no do you call bullshit on that yeah he he seems to think that he's way busier than the two of us and i'm like no no fuck that noise Plus, he doesn't even have a local woman yeah his woman's in sacramento yeah his woman's in sacramento and he <clears throat> And, and and like he has he has two full time jobs is that what he said yeah he claims that two full th- what the fuck so he's got the comedy college yeah which he works what four hours a day maybe if he's, yeah, I, if he's a good day does, I, I didn't realize he'd gotten that many hours did he get promoted <laughs> like and then he's got so what's the other animal trash is that what he's talking about uh, is the second job stand up animal trash yeah but he doesn't do that much stand up he, yeah, he really doesn't. doesn't no I don't either but I end up editing way more video than he does so it kind of balances out to about the same amount of time we spend on that right and also I mean he he, he may claim to work a full time, but he doesn't have a full time job. Like no, not, he doesn't. He's not putting in the like thirty, 40 hours to thirty five hours. Yeah. <laughs> I put no, I put in more than that. But, but well, and then you got to commute. I got to yeah, commute. the commute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's bad. The, by the way, this is the weird old podcast with Jeff and Red. Uh, if you just tuned in, because you can do that with podcasts. It's just like the radio. You just tune 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 into the internet, and then whatever comes out comes out. No, they don't. People don't do that. So by this point, it's twenty some odd minutes in. Um, most of the people who who didn't realize this was a podcast have tuned out. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, this, if it's on YouTube. Right. If it's on YouTube, they're like, "Oh shit!" Wait, this is how many minutes? I turned on a YouTube video. I didn't expect to lose the next hour of my life. I didn't expect to have to pay attention to something. Oh god, damn it! And then, um, yeah. and now it's just the hardcore people. Who, uh, for whatever reason, like hearing me and Adam talk. Now, I have no idea if they're going to like us talking. I have no idea either. Adam and I talk about the same shit, though. Right. But yeah. I just can't give him shit about his job because he keeps claiming that it, I'm like, no. Yeah, well, he I got nothing. Yeah, well, I, I he has a lot of freedom. No, I'm saying as far as like work shit, you got nothing. You don't have two full time jobs. I, neither do I. I have a 40 week, 40 hour in a week job and yeah. like a. 15 to 20 depending on how hard i'm pushing it right a week job yeah you don't have the video editing but you do a lot more shows than we do i don't i do and i have a i have a bad photography habit i spend a lot of time editing those i used to but then fucking video editing yeah and a video editing is tragic a I, time sink yeah, i spent yeah. two hours i put adam's cami street fighter video up right two hours on the thumbnail 
Now that was more being OCD. Computers are terrible things. Like you know, there, there was a time before them where I, I, I mean, I'm not a luddite, but it just seems like when I'm spending two hours trying to find a thumbnail for a video, like something has gone terribly wrong. I had one in 15 minutes, and then I decided I didn't like it, and then oh, spent another two hours. And then trying you opened up Photoshop. <laughs> I, th- it was all in Photoshop, but uh, I opened up Google Image Search for right. Cami, and I'm like, "Oh, this picture's nice," and let me isolate her from the picture and try her here and and no. oh bad news <sighs> that's how you lose days of your life okay back to monday night combat monday night combat well you should I, buy it because bob Eka, and john are awesome people that, I, three I'm, guys so first of all uh, if they're watching this which they <clears throat> aren't but i like to have rage at uh, people who aren't here but if they're watching this they just who's they uh, Bob Eka and I oh the know, Monday Night Combat the Monday Night Combat okay. people sorry you just yeah. the names you just said uh, that game they just released it on Steam so it's on Steam on Windows now on you PC yeah, yeah yeah you don't have to do it on Xbox and I th- I forget if it's discounted or not but it's it's only a fifteen buck game in the first place whatever yeah just buy just it buy it but uh but I I am kind of like you can see like they've had like did you hear about the thing it took them a month to push out the update through Microsoft's network. And that's a service they pay for. Like, they have to pay to give us updates. Yeah, but Microsoft... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Is they have it... to pay to give us updates. And then, like, it takes Microsoft a month to review their update to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they've, they, at that point, they already had the next one planned, but they had to wait for that one to get, you know, all the yeah, bugs back from the users. It's not quick. And, yeah, and it, and it was like, how... Did you burn that much of the time? So, like, now that they've got the Steam version, it's like they're releasing an update. It's just like TF2 was. It's like yeah. they're releasing an update, like, every hour almost. You yeah, know? just like, what the hell? The Why game not? just keeps getting better and better. And then and then the Xbox One, Xbox One, it's just, it's, it, you know, it's it's so hard for them. I don't blame them, really, that Microsoft made it that difficult. But it's just like, of course that game's going to fall behind. Well, now. I have a feeling on next next gen that they're, Microsoft's going to have to address that. Yeah, they have to. Um, Sony, it's not even on their radar. They just don't even. They don't even care. Nah, whatever. <laughs> Sony's like that that uh, drunk grandfather, where you could be like, "But grandfather, <laughs> you're dying." Nah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at my balls. I made the PlayStation One. <laughs> yeah, I know power would make washing my dishes uh, easier, but yeah. bleh. suck on my cell processor. Get me my whiskey. <laughs> oh, Sony, I bet I. I, I, I like I, the play, I, I, right? No, I, I I like the PlayStation Three uh, hardware on paper. I love the PlayStation Three. I yes. really just can't deal with that controller. I see. I hate that like a light of, little. Some I just want to. People wanna, love the controller. I know most people from what I, I found. I don't like it, but I can't. I just can't deal with the uh, the UI. The UI is is super. It's like they tried to go Minority Report and ended up retarded Minority Especially Report. Especially when you uh, like the Marketplace UI is yeah, so the much marketplace. worse. Yeah, I, I, uh, the Xbox one's so much better. <laughs> I don't know, and yeah, and I am not. I am not a Microsoft fanboy. It's I. I separate those. No, he's anti Microsoft. Yeah, that's yeah, and so it's it's it. It took me a long time to admit that the Xbox 360 provided a better service than <laughs> Sony was able to, but it is just so clear. Yeah, and I kind of am okay with paying Microsoft the money for for premium for Xbox Live Gold, just because I feel like I am paying for something as opposed to just yeah. I I have to say, uh, <coughs> Xbox Live Gold has given me my favorite video game, uh, Netflix streaming. That's true. It's fantastic, I, and I know they have. I guess they have the free one on the. They have the PS3. I don't, but, is it free or is it locked to the premium account? Uh, so I don't remember. I know at one point they definitely had like a disc that you had to put in. We have that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but and that was free. You could do that for free. And I think they might have some sort of app now. I don't know if it's free or not though. Yeah. But Netflix, like I watch so much MythBusters now because of Netflix <laughs> streaming. <laughs> well, why do you need to? Because the is it Discovery Channel or whatever? But I, they have it on. They have marathons every fucking weekend. I don't I have swear. cable. That's why. Oh, that's it's it's fantastic. Uh, You're worse than Adam. Adam's got cable, right? Yeah, I, I it's not that I don't watch Step the shows the I want to watch. Non Stone Age. I also have an ISP that provides Usenet with full binary access, so I've got them shows. Why don't you just get back on FidoNet and? Uh, <laughs> FidoNet. I, I can give you some good dial-in BBSs <laughs> if you want. Uh, the Usenet full. It's not limited. I've at got all. a telephone service that'll let me dial BBSs. The the, the 
<laughs> I can get television shows from the future. That's how great Usenet is. No. Because they air on the East Coast. They're recorded. They're uploaded. And I can download them faster than they can than, than, than it comes on the West Coast. I can watch Daily Show before it's on. It's fantastic. I just don't care. It's amazing. It's And uh, it doesn't cost me anything. And uh, that makes me a bad person, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, but you're watching East Coast commercials. Are the people who upload no, no, them what's nice better? enough to cut it out? What's better is a lot of time you'll get them from Canada. Uh, it's uh, from uh, freaking Newfoundland or something. Newf- and it's got like this. Newfoundland. Se- Newfoundland? Yeah. Uh, I don't care. If there are any Newfoundlander, Newfoundlanders. Newfies. Newfies. But that's uh, a derogatory term yeah. f- from the other uh, people. No, uh, that's what it's called when you drown one of them. It's As like a Newfie? Newfie, yeah. Yeah. It's just like, never mind. Anyway. Like drowning an American Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's, so it's fun. Like there, every Thirty walk, Rock episode I've watched has a little maple leaf in the corner with like CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. That's just wrong. You can watch them on Hulu for free. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the there's like two ads. We don't need to get into it. But I, my media PC is a Linux box and it doesn't play Flash that well. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, and it literally is like you step back to 1994. You're fucking using <laughs> Usenet, <laughs> Unix. Yep. Straight Linux, not like fucking. Yeah. Not I graphical mean, like, Linux. No, he's using TextBox. <laughs> when he tried Hulu I'm the not. first time, it was it was printing it in ASCII characters <laughs> on his screen. Like a I little, would fucking watch that. Would you not watch that? <laughs> I would. I would. A I channel know. that converted Hulu shows into ASCII text? into ASCII text, or even just like an ASCII video. That I I totally watch it. I. Maybe we should work on that. That'd be fun. That would Im- that would improve. Uh, I could watch Gossip Girl then. I mean, <laughs> see, I if watched, it was an ASCII. Sadly, I watched Gossip Girl. Oh, seriously? I've I've Leighton Meester's kind of cute. I I only know about it from gay comedian jokes. Well, That's the only there reason you go. I know that show exists. Yep, me and Adam, gay comedians. Yep, they're talking about Gossip Adam Girl. Adam would constantly. watch it if he knew how to operate a remote control. That it's it amazes me that he is able to edit video. Well, that's the thing. Like he gets confused by Facebook. He but then he's like, then he's like Final Cut Pro, boop, 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 boop. Well, and he does more transitions than I ever yeah. do. And he'll put graphic crap like spinners I, and. I consider myself a pretty advanced iMovie user. I mean, I get almost everything you can out of the program, and he just blows me away. And you're a, a technophile. I, I am a technophile. I'm a, a competent dude. I brought my own equipment to record this podcast. That's yeah. how you know. Because Adam stole the mic to go finish the audio for it, the Ken and Ryu he probably Street sold it for some Frankenberry breakfast cereal. He he's too lazy to sell it. See, that's what I, <laughs> Adam's one of those guys you can loan anything because you know that like at the end of the day, if he were to try to sell it, right. he'd just be like, oh, I gotta leave the house. Right. Yeah, yeah, and people are like, I got work to do. Got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or I gotta get stoned. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, no, Adam's I, better than that. Adam's better than that. He's not getting stoned while he's supposed to be working. No, he'll play video That's games. That's why I said or. Oh, oh, right, I got. Right. He's either working. Yeah, on the puppet show or right. writing or whatever, or he's working, chillaxing. Yes, that is what's happening. So you and I had a little bit of a disagreement about Angry Birds. Did we? Yeah. Well, you just. I think that. This, I know this is a little lower than the game level you're normally talking about. No, that's fine. But uh, Angry Adam Birds does was, not know what a mobile game is. Yeah, he thinks they're all so stationary games. So it's nice games. to be able to talk about them. Yeah, well, I you know you can't you can't avoid it if you have an iPhone. Like people are talking about Angry Birds. There's Angry Bird jokes on Penny Arcade. One of like winning dicker doodles. You can't even avoid it in Penny the Arcade. comedy club. Yeah, no, exactly. So Angry Birds, I'd finally downloaded. It. it was like ninety nine cents, I think, for the iPhone app. Yeah, and it's a fun game. It's just fun. It's not. It's. It's it's just a simple puzzle game. It's fun to fling the birds. Now, what was our agreement about? Uh, control scheme. Yes, because it's fucking terrible. And 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 the thing is, like, I just don't care. It, it probably is a terrible control scheme, but like, I play it. I have fun. It doesn't detract from Go me. Go buy trucks and skulls. Game. And the next time you're on, we'll talk about it. Trucks and skulls. Yeah. What was that? Same damn game. Yeah. Control scheme and and uh, randomness, a hundred times less. Trucks and skulls. That uh, it, uh, we'll see. It sounds like just somebody just stomping on Urix in a graveyard. No. Uh, okay. It's a better game. Better than Angry Birds. Yeah. So the number one the, game in America. I've just because number one doesn't mean it's a great game, right? All uh, it means is people are talking about it. Many people like it. it. 
it's cute and it's easy to get into and it's easy to be like okay 99 cents i'll buy it i've seen someone else play it yeah. i'll play it and, but tell me you don't get frustrated with it well I get there's frustra- not some levels you just can't win because you can't find the magic pixel yeah it's and I, then even if you know where the magic pixel is hitting that magic pixel when some of the levels are so long you can't get the whole level in zoom unless you zoom way the right. fuck out but then you have I wish less control they obviously that's part of the mechanic but i wish they would do that on the ipad on the ipad version just be able to see the entire level in one screen that would help so much trucks and skulls just avoids the problem altogether by not requiring that much accuracy there's still a lot of skill involved and you still got to be accurate but you mm. don't have to hit the pixel you got like five pixels you can hit i do like games that are easier <laughs> i'm telling you trucks and skulls i'll have to check that out has way less sales so but, we're gonna start a revolution right now but do you but do you think i mean it doesn't matter if i'm playing the game i'm having a good time some objective version of like what the control scheme is doesn't matter all that matters is I've had fun playing this game. I don't have fun, and I get a negative response when I leave be- the game because <sighs> I can't progress it's so past cute. the puzzle. It's so fun. You're flinging birds. Who doesn't want to kill birds by f- slamming them against rocks no, if it was and wood? Slam birds against a wall, I would fucking play that. <laughs> like It was just a wall and birds, and you just <laughs> flew into them. Yeah. Because you hate joy. But yeah, it's it's so much fun. Oh, I thought you were going to say I hate Jews. But yeah, no, Jews No, that's are bad. not true. Yeah, so I, anyway, what I'm saying is Angry Birds is good, and you should play it. But you should buy Trucks and Culls also. And compare and them. And compare them, and, and see if you think I'm right. Fair enough. Because I think a lot of the people who are buying, I, I would say any iPhone game, a vast majority of them aren't gamers. Right. And don't understand that they don't need to be frustrated. Oh, I see. So it's like it's like people who are are frustrated at like some American movie that's just a rip off of the Korean one. Yeah. Because like you didn't see the one that was actually better. You didn't see the one that inspired it. Yeah, you're just watching just a shitty American copy. One. Yeah. You're just watching a cheap copy. What was of the, the cool um, thing. death at a funeral? Uh, was a rip okay, off yeah. of the British version. And it was terrible. The American one was terrible. Yeah. And the British one was good. Now I could see people going to the American one and kind of enjoying it. Right. Just because, just like, out of context. Yeah, but knowing what came before, that was so great. Just ruined after it. you'd seen the British one, it's like this is not. It, it's hollow. Yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, okay, well, I will, I'm uh, not sure which came out first, trucks or skulls or Angry Birds. Pretty sure it was Angry Birds, but I well, I will try your skull truck game, and we'll get this figured trucks out. Trucks and skulls. I know. Versus trucks. Versus truck skull. Und skulls in Germany. Skull, skull truck. und skullen. Truck, that just sounded like a Beastie Boys song. Yo, 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 I've been trucking and schooling. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly like yeah, a Beastie yeah. Boys song. <laughs> so, this is Mixed Master Mike. I've been trucking and schooling. Up to you, Red. It's going to tooling. Mr. Mixed Master Mike. The song Mixed the Master Mike had the best music video ever. It was so low budget. And it was fantastic. Yeah? It was just them. Uh, it, w- it was uh, Mixed Master Mike ran into the basement of this building, going down a bunch of flights of stairs. And when he gets down there in the basement room, there's just the Beastie Boys, like, frozen. And then he just sets up his turntables, and he reanimates them with his music. And then the Beastie Boys are singing the Mixed Master Mike song, and it's fantastic. <laughs> That's not bad. No, it's pretty good. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, it was, uh-huh. it was it was very low budget, and it never ended up being one of the like top MTV music videos. But, but it was I remember seeing it being like that's cool, and then YouTube. never seeing it again. Yeah, look it up. It's, I'm sure it is. I totally amu- I was um, amused by it. I want to bring up something before I forget. Mr. Okay. Rowan, an email. This is the only email we're gonna okay, go okay. over. Mentioned that uh, I should stop teasing Adam for being fat. Um, I don't see why you would do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why. I want to know your opinion on this. As, as a fat guy, as as a fat guy, and someone, who, <laughs> and, and someone who knows Adam. For for the listeners, uh, I am also overweight. You're not as fat as Adam. Well, I mean, no, and it's truly. I don't know about. Well, hard. actually, I do know. He weighs a lot more than me, and is shorter, so that's a bad sign. Uh, but I, Adam just has a fatitude. Like he just has something about him. Uh, it says, uh, "I'm well established," and I am. His the way he walks is fat as much as anything else. He yeah, is you know, fat. You know the uh, the gay cheer like I'm um, I'm um, um, queer or something. I don't remember. I'm what queer or something. I'm I don't gay, remember I'm that queer one. And have no fear or something. There's something. <laughs> they, but I just sense Adam does that every day. Like I'm fat. Fucking suck it. Like I, I think he had more energy than you it. did when he did that. Though. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I'm fat. 
suck it. <laughs> That's <laughs> and then he sucks it. Right. Yeah. He doesn't realize that suck it means like someone else should suck right, it. Right now he's, he's kind of gay. He's bad with uh dicks english grammar <laughs> <laughs> and penises in his face <laughs> just both of those remember the food tornado <laughs> did you hear that part <laughs> yeah i did hear that part <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so he, he just kind of owns his fatness yeah and uh so I, I didn't i i think i saw it did you show me that email earlier? didn't he end his his email? email with a fat joke with a fat joke yeah hey Stop being mean to the fat guys. Oh, by the way, fat no, people said, are funny. Stop being mean to the fat guys because Adam may leave, and that's like 50%. Oh, wait. No, it's Adam. It's more like 90%. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Oh, bam. Yeah. And uh, I, you need to proofread your emails, people. You need to look over it and say, is anything I'm saying at the beginning contradictory? What I'm saying at the end. Yeah. Yeah. And that will help all of you out. So, so I, I appreciate the uh, feeling behind the email uh <laughs> execution was, was lacking, lacking. Yeah, um yeah. yeah so mark Marin, uh i'm gonna refer to his podcast again because i went to a recording last night saturday oh yeah friday I, friday night how was that i was not able fucking to fucking brilliant now i'll tell you more details <sighs> but he read an email that was awesome where the guy was like i'm not a fan of yours i don't like what you say but i like listening Okay. <laughs> so it was like completely contradictory to himself. And then he finally, I can just ma- imagine Mark Mayer just looking up at the camera after he no, like, you should, like yeah. He looked up at the audience and was like, yeah, okay, fuck you. And he crumples the letter and throws it on the floor. <laughs> nice. Um, but last night guests were a couple comics we knew. Uh, Will Franken. Oh, cool. Uh, who t- teaches occasionally at the Comedy College. Yes. But he's a local legend. Yeah, he's fantastic. Never really had huge success. No, he's he's sort of people know who he is around San Francisco and, and in that, the comedy scene, right? And the comedy scene. scene. I think he's. I mean, he's done shows in New York and L.A. I think they've done well. But. Yeah, but he's, he just hasn't had like the TV exposure no. or the. Anyway, uh, Nato Green, who we all have performed with, yeah. many a time. Very funny. Uh, w. Camo Bell was on briefly. Cool. Um, Mark took him to task for being. Um, oh, like so. A little backstory to this. W. Camo Bell was on one of the first WTF pods. Yeah, with Dwayne Kennedy. Talking about racist, yes. racism. Right. And they talked about black racism. Well, because they were both black, right? Dwayne and... And W. Camo. Right, not so, Mark Maron. I mean, it wasn't like, oh, it sucks being Korean and they're black. And you're like, whoa, that's weird. Yeah. Um, But they're, they're talking about racism. And uh, uh, recently, W. Camo tweeted Mark Maron, I guess, and said, when are you going to have me on the show? Okay. Again? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but not talking about racism. Right. And Mark replied, well, isn't that what you always talk about? <laughs> that is true. See, it is true. That like, is exactly. You know, uh, no, everyone in the audience doesn't know W. Camo. Right, right, right. Yeah. So they were like, but his entire stand up act is about like racism. Yeah. Yeah. And being black and being and targeted or a subject of, or, or whatever. And every time he puts on he these shows, they're yeah, about yeah. racism. And more power to him. But you can't be mad at Mark when he's like, isn't that all you ever talk about? Yeah. I mean, uh, you can't. I, I'm sure Mark Maron's only seen him a couple times. But that is all that happens on stage. Yeah, and I've seen him maybe 10 times. Right. Around the punchline and other uh, other clubs. Yeah. I'm, I'm, try- I'm, I'm going through all of his material that I've heard in my head right now. And I'm just, it's like... Oh, Henry Louis Gates and uh, and it's, it's very smart, cl- not clever. Clever is a bad word for it, but I mean it's smart stuff about racism. I'm I'm gonna send that. Hey, Jeff Ryman said you're not clever. Uh, you can fucking send that because they'll be <laughs> like, who the fuck is Jeff Ryman? Yeah, that's that's exactly what. Um, happen. because I'm not black. <laughs> Ew, sorry. Uh, Ugh. so anyway, who else was on? Uh, Maria Bamford. Ooh, lovely as always. Right. Uh. Who's the other guest? An- another black comedian I didn't know who was just on the Fairly Legal show. Okay. That just started. He's he's a cast member. I've heard of that, but I haven't. Um, he's in town for Sketchfest. He was funny. Cool. Um, but the the killer, Bobcat Goldthwait. I really want to see him. He was awesome. Oh, was he? Like amazingly awesome. So does he? I I haven't seen. I've read interviews by him, but I haven't heard him. Does he talk like that all no. the time? Okay, no, good. That's not his voice. Okay. And uh, they even talked about it. Like, so for those who don't know, Bobcat Goldthwait was the guy who went ah! in Police Academy and every voiceover throughout the nineties. And that does like eighties and nineties movies. Yeah, he was in that one movie with John Cusack on the beach <laughs> with the sketches. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know. What you're, but uh, 
with Demi Moore oh, of all God. people who was in that movie. Yeah, they, uh, I, I don't remember what the movie was called. <laughs> anyway, um, but he's always like, ah, I don't know where. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he kind of put that life behind him and he realizes like that was his, the f- most famous he's probably ever been, but people still harass him. It's fucking yeah. brilliant because they talk about that. They talk about his just relationship and stuff that's hilarious and listen to it. It'll be, I'm sure, next oh, yeah, week yeah. or so. Week, so. Mark's pretty quick about getting that stuff up. Yeah. Uh, and. And he directed, didn't he direct a movie recently? With no, Robin he's Williams? been doing a lot of directing. So right. Yeah. I'm, I still, I really want to see that movie. I'm very excited about. Which movie is it? Uh, World's Best Dad. Oh, I was going to say, you didn't remember the name. Like, I'm really excited to see that movie. Yeah, yeah well, the last one Bobcat directed. <laughs> but it sounds hilarious. It's got Robin Williams as the world's best dad who, like, gets Robin famous off of his son committing the suicide. Robin was last night. Um, makes well. Do you know they performed together a lot? They came up together. No, I didn't. They know. had when uh, well, I assumed like in the all late, those guys know when, each other. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but uh, Bob, Bobcat and Robin go way, way back. Uh, just from listening to like Mark Maron's podcast. Not that I know them, but uh, yeah, when they would perform, when Robin Williams was already sort of famous due to Mark and Mindy, they would do a two man like forty five minutes each show, and they would play as like something cheese and Marty Fromage. Would be the like oh, yeah, yeah, headliner, yeah. and it'd be uh, Robin Williams and Bobcat Goldthwait. And apparently, they'd switch off headlining, which huh. makes me think that Bobcat must be pretty good. Oh, he's he's fucking like I would go I don't see know. him I'd, do stand up now. Right, I, but that's does he even go up? Yeah, he does. Oh, really? He's trying to do more of it. Oh, interesting. Now yeah, I would love to, to see that. But he used to, he yeah. started as a stand up. Mark he, said the first time he had ever seen Bobcat Goldthwait was in Boston. Bobcat was just leaving Boston. Okay. And uh, he he did a show where he had all his shit on sa- on stage for sale, like it was a show slash yard sale. He was up there like, <laughs> he brought does anyone this- want this pot? Like, <laughs> dollar. <laughs> and just like riffing on it, like no, like the they didn't go into much detail. But oh it was man, just- that sounds phenomenal. I would love to see that. <laughs> Yeah, Red's a huge comedy nerd. I am a huge comedy nerd. I, I should probably start a comedy nerd podcast. I, I I could hold court in that damn thing. But yeah, Bob Bobcat Goldthwait is one of the few people who can wear a hat and not look douchey. Yeah, he was. Did he have the hat? And glasses, yeah. yeah. And he's like bald. He's and I don't know how yeah. he put. A, like yeah, shaved bald, not just Jeff bald. Uh, and I don't know how he pulled that off. Like, how do you wear a hat without looking like a douchebag? Because it's a skill that I would like. Yeah. I don't look like a douchebag. Jeff's wearing a hat. It's a Transformer 2, which I'll read from on, and a Transformer 2 baseball cap. Yep. Yeah. Which baseball caps are... You can look like a douche wearing a baseball pretty cap. Pretty douchey. Yeah, no, but you got to... There's a way to wear a baseball hat that makes you look like a douche. Right. For example, if if your particular baseball hat is a trucker hat, you're already there. Yeah. You're or, already at the end of the line. Or you're wearing gym shorts. Yeah, gym shorts. Yeah, if people don't see your nuts, you always look like a douche. That's uh, a weird... Weird fact. Yeah, especially if the gym shorts are worn with uh, sneakers with no socks. Uh, that that's that, like a plus. That's five. a trend. Like that's been ha- people. Are, yeah, but oh, it's you plus see that a lot. Yeah, it's fucking douchey. It's douchey times infinity. I mean, you might as well put some fucking dock siders on. Yeah, pull out the Sperry's. <laughs> <laughs> the the top sider, I believe. D- or whatever. Top, top siders, no socks on. Put on your khaki shorts. Put on some Ray Bans. Straight out of late nineties. Nice. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> when we, uh, when I did the show Sporting at the dark polo. room with, uh, Brent Weinbach and yeah. Moshe, Ooh. Moshe gets on lineup. stage and there's a bunch of frat looking boys in the front. They're all wearing boat shoes with no socks. That's fantastic. And they got their feet on the fucking stage. Look, I understand we all don't exactly know what trends are going to be weird or not, but if you leave the house like that and, and go don't to- work on a boat. And are going to a comedy show, you've made a poor life choice. And sit in the front. Oh, Jesus. And then stick your feet on the stage. Oh, yeah. The, dude, that's the rule, though. If you're wearing a topsider, if you're wearing a Sperry topsider, that's where your feet go. If, if you don't hold your feet up, uh, how is anyone they'll just to know? fall off. Well, and how is anyone the, to they know? will fly off. Their shoes will eject themselves <laughs> off of your feet. And you'll find yourself shoeless. Because you did not hold your top siders up at a 45 degree angle. Now, there's a bunch of Germans, well, not just Germans, but Euros, who are going to have to go look this shit up. Or, I hope to God yeah. it was not a trend in Europe. Every picture you've seen of like 
the Kennedy family from the 60s where they're on your, their yacht. Yeah. Uh, they're dressed exactly like this. It's like uh, Sperry topsiders with no socks, uh, the khaki shorts, polo with one too many buttons. And or a sweater. Or Possibly sweater. Or sweater, sweater. Yeah. yeah. Depending on how nippy it is on the yacht. <laughs> it's got to be so hard. <laughs> Well, the, I, I mean, that that whole family reeks of karma, though, because great success uh, followed by constant tragedy. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, I don't want to. I, I don't need. We don't need to veer into Kennedy no. territory. That's too far. Although they did. Apparently, Will Franken hung, uh, did a private show for the Manson family at some point or part of the Manson family. That is. That's so. That was also in the podcast. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, this What the Fuck pod with uh, the live right. one with uh, WT5? Will Franken and Bobcat and Maria. Answer. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that'll be online, too. Uh, you can listen to that. Uh, in addition or instead of this, uh, I, I'd recommend either. I, 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 well, by this point, you've already listened to 50 minutes of this shit. <laughs> so It's not good. We're pretty much done. Yeah. Unless you got anything else. I just wanted to say, uh, have you heard anything about Dead Space 2? No. I see. I didn't play the first one. No, no, I didn't either. No. So, but the thing is, I have a very good friend who was like his dream to do video games, and actually, I think due to a bunch of people quitting at ended, EA, yeah, ended yeah. up a level designer for Dead Space Two. So I, pro- I told, I don't like that genre because it's like it looks like one of those like horror games, yeah, yeah. Like, I, which I don't like that genre at all. But I was like, I, he's one of my really good friends, and I'm like, I'm going to play through this game for you, even if it gives me AIDS. And so I just want to hear people tell me that it's good because. Uh, I've I started looking up some of the Metacritic reviews are positive. So that's that's, that's, a that's good something. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It's better than my last game. Uh, what was oh, uh, We, can, we yeah, don't yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. which one it is. Right, yeah, yeah. No, I, was, I, I, I thought you were talking about the last game you got through Gamefly or something. No, no, no. Yeah. Although that was Naughty Bear. That was pretty bad, too. <laughs> um, no, so a lot of people are like, oh, what games have you made? Where do you work? You can fucking look it up. And if you're not willing to look it up, well, yeah. you don't deserve to know. Right. It's not. First of all, yeah, you can you can find it out easily uh, if you know how to spell his name. And uh, it, my name is spelled. He- Hefe Rutman. Uh, on, the, on, on the website. Yeah. It's, it's, it's easy to find. Uh, you wouldn't want to have it in a recording. And second of all. Are you familiar with control C and control V? Mm. And the site... Guagul. Yeah, the, I, I, uh, Guagle? The, yeah, How do you pronounce it? The way you say that just makes me want to twirl my mustache. Guagle. Guagle. <laughs> <laughs> my handlebar mustache wax it out to the end. But yeah, Dead Space 2, I hate those games where they just screw with your mind. And, and it's so much worse than a horror movie because you have to be so present because you have to interact with it. Well, and you it, can uh, turn it off. It, it makes me urinate every time something jumps out at me. Like and, and the do you have your uh, fiance hold you? Yeah, uh, if if she's there, definitely. I have everybody hold me. I'd have Adam hold me. I need help well, yeah, but playing these games. You no, don't have to ask. Th- Adam th- there, there's. Uh, I forget. There's this game I played a while ago. Oh man, I if, uh, I'll have to look up the name and put a link to it. But uh, it was an Xbox game from about like 2004 or something. And the char- the main character was going insane. Main so the things you were seeing in front insane. of the camera, or it might have been going insane, and so the things you were seeing in front of the camera, a lot of times wouldn't make sense. Like, from you your sure it was the Xbox, not w- GameCube? It was, yeah, it was definitely on the Xbox. Okay, then I'm blanking. So anyway, uh, the scariest thing I was, my friend was actually playing it with watching, and you go up to yeah, mechanic that's been in any first person shooter at some point. You walk up to the security cam for the building you're in. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're looking, switching between the channels. And then eventually, of course, it switches to the room you're in from behind. And there's this fucking crazy looking monster coming up slowly behind you. And you turn around and there's nothing there. Like, so you've just. Sounds familiar. And then you're like, you're sweeping back and forth. You're like, I know that fucking thing was in there. And then you can feel yourself going like, I feel like I'm crazy. It's not fear. Yeah. Yeah. It's what? No, no, it's not the game fear. Condemned sounds right. Yeah, no, Condemned. Condemned sounds right. That was an almost Xbox launch title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Xbox 360 launch. Uh, Xbox. I uh, don't I remember. remember. Yeah, but I it think sounds I like Condemned. It. Yeah. And I, and I that mo- it literally gave me the feeling of being like I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Playing this game. And <clears throat> And uh, I no more of that, please, because it made me feel like I was going crazy <laughs> playing that game. Uh, you see, that's not a good feeling. No, it's I don't not. mind being spooked. Yeah, I don't. I don't like, want to be made to feel that I'm going any crazy. I don't than like I am. to spend my leisure time 
you can you think can that I'm insane. I go think ugly I'm, that word. Go ugly <laughs> leisure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to spend my leisure time like relaxing, uh, enjoying myself, uh, challenging myself. Thinking I'm an insane person, thinking that nothing I say, that causality doesn't matter, that's a that's a bad feeling. I, I agree. Right, I so mean, what do you want me to say? I, I don't know. I, I want you to have some input as to uh, what would I, make I it love that you are expressing yourself <laughs> and that you feel finally comfortable with a microphone because whenever yeah. I see you on stage, you're not. No, I'm not. Burn! Yeah. Zing! Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm just, I'm not used to having huge phallic things in you my need face to hang, like hang around people. with adam more often it <laughs> <laughs> might be the like, case he has a joke that ends exactly like that yeah, it's I fantastic know. <laughs> okay <laughs> so, <laughs> he uses the mic yeah um anything to plug before he turn off uh, i also did rooster teeth feathers i have a weekly show at the purple onion right now online so. no Ro- one cares about live shows they're they're in fucking europe yeah uh, the, all the people watch your shows here in europe everyone who seems to comment is either in europe or somewhere useless like minnesota maybe they're just mouthier over there in europe they just want fucking euros no i love the euros but oh. uh, i think they just uh I think they're hard up uh, for for white people's opinions over there, and uh, <laughs> they need more of it. Our people aren't white enough. <laughs> Let's import opinions from the Americas. <laughs> I don't where know. the people are white like snow. Um, white like so trash. On, are you, you're starting something with the mics? What are you buying the mics for? Oh, I I don't know. I'm I'm testing this out. I'm against a dry run. I haven't decided if I'm returning this mic to Amazon. We'll listen to the recording. Now you're gonna keep it. Yeah. No. Am I? Do uh, you only have one of them? Well, yeah, I only have one. I'll get the other I, one. I would keep it because nice to have a mic with the uh, the switch regardless. So. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe I will keep For it. For stage purposes. I mean, the waves, I can see the waves They look good. like waves. Yeah, no, they they look good. They look like professional waves. Uh, so that part's working well. Got the old uh, uh, wave I'm maker. glad we finished up on this. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you should, you're going you're gonna to start something. You're going to do a podcast or I, I probably will. Or I probably will at some point. Uh, what I want it to be is good. So that's what I'm going to call it. The good podcast. Go for it. Yeah. I'm sure it's not taken at all. No, I'm sure that domain's available. Yeah. You should call it the best podcast the if you're trying to overachieve. <laughs> yeah. The breast podcast. There you <laughs> get some hits. <laughs> <laughs> I get people to watch that first episode. And you got breasts. But then they'd realize, so. yeah. Uh, and then they'd realize, uh, poor audio podcast. Poor yeah. audio only <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the breast podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great to see on iTunes if people listen like like you got to wonder the mentality of someone who actually decided to subscribe to it because it said breast but didn't <laughs> think enough to be like there's no video. <laughs> <laughs> why cruel world <laughs> why is it well, you did it to yourself <laughs> all right so all right. Uh, fuck this noise yeah we're done peace out bye peace out bye peace out later peace adios ciao 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 peace all right let's see if this Oh, <laughs> oh,